Hello my fellow figmates, today I'm going to be showing you perhaps one of the most powerful hidden secret in Figma that allows for native aspect fit on any object and 3D rotation. Let's get into it. Currently the aspect fit behavior is only supported on images. If you have some image and you put it side by side you would know the difference. Now the image defaults to this fail behavior, but if you change it to fit, that is the aspect fit we're looking for. Now let me quickly change the constraints so it resizes with the frame. Now as you can see, the aspect fit one always retains its aspect ratio, whereas the default fill one always gets cut upon resizing. Now what if I want this aspect fit behavior on other types of layers, aside from images? Let's say you have a donut for whatever reason you want it to retain its proportions, right? And intuitively you reach out for the constraint proportions button. And you might think that by clicking on that it solves the problem, but the fact that it doesn't. And no, this won't do. Let's reset and start over. This time I'm gonna restart by drawing a frame and inside of there let's put in another frame, set to scale, make it at a layout, and rotate it 45 degrees make it the same size as the container and turn off clip content. And instead of there we're going to draw yet another frame and we're also going to rotate this one 45 degrees counterclockwise a uh, fill container. Now let's move our donut to its new home. I'm um, just going to center it a bit and make sure everything is okay. Now let's see what happens. Hmm, that's better. Wow, that's much better. And you can put anything inside of there. Limitation non-existent. Uh, let me try to uh, show you by, see if I can put my cute little tiger avatar inside of here, come over you. And uh, you gotta make sure that uh, everything is set to scale. We don't even need this outer frame. Alright, let's see what happens. See? How cool is that? Okay, so all of this requires only one auto layout frame, and one regular frame below it, one above it. And the fun doesn't stop there. Because everything is now aspect fit, you can put it into a auto layout group and watch how they behave. Like, uh, for example, Let's make out a layout real quick. Let's give it a background color so you can distinguish better. Let's put this inside of there as a element. You can duplicate multiple of it and have them fill container and watch how they behave as a whole. That is pleasant, right? And you can even increase or decrease the padding and watch them behave like that. Um, do their own thing. You can use it whenever you want. I've been testing this for two months and now it can tell you for sure. 100% bug free, no glitches. Now, on to 3D object rotation. Now, if you made it this far, 3D rotation is actually quite easy. Uh, let's first make sure that everything is set back to square again. And at this point, um, all you need is really just another auto layout frame to wrap around this existing one. And uh, so add that and make sure that it's set to scale again and um, the inner frame needs to be set to fill container and let's uncheck the clip content and now watch this 3d object rotation without plugins I'm going to clear the fill and add a shadow so it's easier for you to see what's going on I'm going to hide the noise and let's uh, there we go Whichever angle you're happy with, you can just drag out the innermost frames and that way it will be cleaner on the layer hierarchy. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye.